To the experts, Taiwan's COVID death count is troubling because it's relatively high at 2.8 percent. Another worrying statistic involves how COVID patients die. According to the Central Epidemic Command Center, 18 percent of casualties died very quickly, within three days after they started feeling symptoms. Quite a few didn't make it to a hospital for testing and were only diagnosed with COVID after they died. To make COVID testing more accessible to the public, the government plans to authorize the import of COVID test kits that can be used right at home. With COVID still spreading locally, Taiwan's death count is piling up. A figure that's raising eyebrows even among experts is the high rate of deaths within three days of symptom onset. There are indeed some people who are dying very shortly after developing symptoms. Those who die within two or three days of presenting symptoms. 18% of the COVID deaths have died within three days of symptom onset. This is, of course, something that has prompted us to look into the issue from many angles and make some preparations. Besides that, we need to continue looking into what effects administering monoclonal antibodies could have. We're also discussing ways to transfer patients to hospitals sooner. As hospital capacity and medical resources slowly free up, we'll be able to observe patients more closely and prevent these kinds of incidents. The deaths could indicate that we're dealing with a stronger virus. Secondly, they could indicate that the host immune system was weak, that it wasn't able to fight off the virus that well. Thirdly, they could indicate that our medical capacity is under strain. Maybe patients feel that they won't be able to see a doctor even if they go to the emergency room, so they'd rather stay put at home. Or maybe they can't be admitted to a hospital fast enough. All these could be reasons that explain why there is an increasing number of rapid deaths. As long as they get transferred to a hospital in time and put on respirators, most patients can get better. But currently, everything is happening too fast and Taiwan can't keep up. So far in this COVID wave, Taiwan has seen a high rate of deaths and of people who die very quickly. Among the 26 deaths reported on Monday, 13 were diagnosed COVID positive post-mortem. The figure has raised concerns that there could be many undetected COVID cases in the community. In response, the Central Epidemic Command Center said it would encourage companies to import rapid test kits that can be used at home. Currently, rapid test kits are considered medical equipment. But yesterday, Minister Chen said the CECC would encourage companies to apply to get rapid test kits that they can use for themselves. We've already begun the registration and verification and other preparatory work required to provide home test kits. Our company will keep in close contact with health officials and the relevant authorities throughout the process. Biotech companies say they're getting the paperwork ready to increase Taiwan's rapid testing capacity.